Greetings and welcome to Satisfactory. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Coffee Stain Studios for giving me a key to play this game. I am so thrilled to to play this for you today because it has been touted as the next Factorio, but in 3D. Um, I've had a chance to play the game for a little bit, and it's actually quite different than you might think. Um, so I'm really happy to show this to you today. And without further ado, let's get going. Let's start a new game here. We are limited limited in this is so this is in early alpha this is not a finished game yet and there there's a splash screen and in fact when you start the game saying there's going to be bugs there's going to be other things and then we're limited to text one through three i think uh for now um and um and as you can see some of these other environments are locked what we're going to do is start a new game in grass fields and i'm going to call it test weekend because this weekend everybody gets to play if you uh if you previously signed up for an alpha key and didn't get one yet everybody gets one so um, anyway, let's do this uh, and we'll do friends only. We have a choice between private or friends only. We may be able to entice a wild Caledorn or an Avon to join us, but we'll see. So let's start the game and, uh, and see what we can do. Now the game so far as I have seen is gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Aha, welcome back, hello. Okay. Do we get the tutorial? I don't know. Attention pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary Aha. of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. <laughs> I love this intro, it's so funny. <laughs> Indeed. That's it. Get to work and be effective. I like it. That's it. We're done with this. Go away. <laughs> Please remain seated during full procedure. Aha. Uh -huh. Atmospheric entry in five, four, three, two, one. Planet fall procedure initialized. It's a very fun way to start a game. Just like, okay, we're in a pod somehow and we're just falling to a planet. <laughs> Hello? Help? <laughs> Here we go. I assume those might be clouds, maybe? Or something. Yep, those were clouds. And here we see our first glimpse of the planet, which is, in a word, incredible. The, the view is supremely amazing. It's just wonderful. All right. Sure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Yep. Let's get out of this pod and see where we can go. So this is a first-person game, as you can probably tell. Oh, okay. We've got our tool. And there are tutorial instructions, uh, and I, we don't really have a chance to skip them, so we are going to go through them, and that's just fine. Oh, but the verdant greenery is just crazy cool here. Okay. Planet Massage 2 AD <laughs> Massage 2 sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am mm -hmm. Ada, also known as artificial directory and assistant, tasked to support pioneers such as you in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive planetfall. Congratulations. What is that? Note. Objective based introduction huh. initialized. Welcome to onboarding. I've never seen an artificial structure before. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting okay. materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. This is why I haven't no. actually gone anywhere. We have to deconstruct this thing. Effective and efficient. We do not waste. No, we do not waste. Okay, so F to, to enter dismantle mode. You can see those on the right hand side under shortcuts. Um, so we're going to just use our tool and go ahead and hold the left mouse button and it's gone. We got hub parts. Yay. 
Um, so now we get to choose where we're going to build our base. <laughs> yes, this is important. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should what have access that to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. I can go and collect some stuff on the way. I want to find out what the heck that thing is. I've never seen one of those. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object okay. scanner identification. So we're going to equip our Xeno Zapper. This is very important. I, I skipped this the first time I went here and I was <clears throat> defended only by jumping. So this is this is kind of a strange part of the game where you have to equip certain things um, manually. And it's not on a hot bar, which I wish it was. Um, but we'll we'll just see how it plays. Oh, 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 look, there's an animal. That flying animal over there. It's really cool. Um, maybe we'll go into a zone where they are there. Okay, now we can scan for resource deposits. This is very important that we go to an area that has um, abundant resources or several resources close together. Now we won't get the ability to scan for... Um... Yeah, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> she's very... She likes to interrupt. But I am collecting these leaves for a purpose. We need a lots and lots of leaves initially. Um, so... Let's see, I want to collect these pods. See that animal up there, that flying thing? It's like a manta ray. Uh, it's very cool. Um, let's see. They seem to also have these um, places where they fly regularly, like a path. So if we can get a, a scenic area to build our base with that flying thing, that would be ideal. Oh, there it is. Wow, it's coming close to us. See how cool it is? It's very funky. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna collect some leaves and stuff as we go there. Let's. I guess we can scan for stuff. We were we were going that way. Um, oh, that's those are just leaves and sticks. I thought it looked artificial. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's just scan then. Um, is that a deposit there? Ooh, that might be something. That might be copper or something. All right, so we're scanning for iron now, and we get these little markers at the top of the screen. There's one at 175 and 380 meters. There's one 415 that direction. I think we're going to go for this one. Let's go for the iron. Um, iron is going to be, I think, probably the most important resource initially. At least to get, get going. And if there are two nearby, that is ideal. So, yes, there are reasons I'm collecting all these leaves. But thankfully, you can like run and collect them as well. Trying to figure out if I am... Ah, here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. This is great. Okay, so is this both of them? Okay, wow. Two right next to each other, and there's one that... Oh, hello. Hello. Haha. <laughs> yes, greetings. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's right behind me. Hello. Oh, Jesus, I've lost it. There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, so it's going to attack me, and um, I'm going to try to not get deleted. Um, you can, <laughs> yes, get attack. Oh, Jesus, where is it? Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay, I found it, I found it. Hello. I'm not very good at combat in these kinds of games, so we're just gonna, so I don't know if it's dead or not. It, uh, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't look like it's breathing. Whenever I hit one before, they seem to be breathing, but we're gonna pick up the carapace, which is like the, yeah. Okay, pick up the leaves. Oh, look at this. Okay, we'll come back to the iron. We've got to go see this animal. These are This is one of the coolest things of this game are these really weird animals. Now, these don't seem to be hostile, so I'm quite happy, like, walking nearby. It has, like, barnacles, like a whale on the arms. And then the underside is like a whale as well with those striations. It's like a blue whale. But the head is like a hawk. It's really strange. Uh, and the back... I don't know what the back is looking like. It's it's interesting, but maybe like, I don't know, something. But the head is like a hawk. So I keep wondering like what this animal eats and stuff like that. Um, this is actually a really good place to build a base because there's lots and lots of open space. Let's scan again. I think they're there. No. They're this way. I, I got lost. Okay, it's fine. But I think that's where we were finding the iron deposits, unless we've just gotten completely far away from where we were supposed to be. Okay, let's get this. this these are really good because this they are health things. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. 
So, um, we have these two iron deposits and I'm gonna kind of look around. This is not an ideal area down here for these iron things. But if we instead go up the hill a bit uh, and place our base stuff up here and we can transfer the uh, iron up here because there's a lot more space to build up here. So we're gonna just build up here for now. I like this idea. Okay, great. So, um, E to gather resources. Oh, I forgot about that bit. Okay, I thought we were gonna place our base first, but we're not. We're going to press E and we're gonna just go ahead and get this big chunk off first. This is pure iron. Uh, you see it says, uh, hold E, it says iron pure. And if I select this, this is impure, which I think it should be impure. I don't know if that's, I have to look up if impure is a word, but I'm, anyway, it's, it's, um, you get more iron per um, click of the, the thing or, yeah. There we go. So we're going to pick up as much iron ore as we can from these two guys and hope it's enough to build the initial stuff. We're going to be able to put down some uh, automatic miners very shortly, um, but we just need to get the amount of iron to make that possible first. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is build the base here. Well, the, the construction base part, the, the, the thing that makes the stuff. Yeah, that thing. Oh, a whole wow, all of these nice bits of wood. Now, they these wood and leaves, I believe they respawn. So um, maybe I don't want to build it too close. Maybe I'll build it like right here or something. Okay, um, you can find buildings in the build menu by pressing Q. So let's press Q, we got the hub. We only have one, oh geez, okay. So this is one of the things about the game that's very awkward to me. Um, these structures are humongous. Um, you can turn the building with right uh, mouse wheel. I'm gonna put, the, but the thing about the, this that is very awkward for me is like, look how big it is. I can't see how far it extends, how close to the tree it is. Like, I don't want to kill all those plants, and I do want some of the wood harvesting. Um, it's just really, really awkward. Like, I don't know, is that through the building or not? I can't tell. Um, anyway, let's build it here. The buildings in this game are extraordinarily large. Okay, so this is about right where I wanted to have it, but it still was kind of difficult to tell. Anyway, okay. Hey, we got crafting now. Okay, storage and power. Yes, great. The craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay, we're going to go ahead and craft some iron ingots from the iron that we have. We have the iron ore, 90 pieces, and we can have an iron ingots, 90 pieces. Um, this is manual crafting, so um, each each of the crafts costs two ticks, I guess. You can press and hold, though. Don't don't just, like, click it. That, that would be silly. Um, but we're going to just hold the mouse button down, and as you can see, the iron ore is getting converted into um, the iron ingots. So let's just make all of them into iron ingots because we can't use iron ore um, for anything else so far other than the ingots and then the ingots can be transformed into plates and rods. Okay, so let's just convert all of them. And very, very soon we're gonna get the ability to have machines do this for us so we don't have to do this manually too much, which is kind of cool. Okay, let's see. Upgrade the hub by using the hub terminal. Okay, so the hub terminal is this thingy. Let's get an overview of this thingy. It's got this upper area here, which is going to be our research station eventually. And then this area is where we're going to have our power um, machines that generate power from, guess what? From leaves. <laughs> so, um, and this machine, this is the crafting on the right. And this machine is where we kind of do the upgrades and figure out what we need to do. So we're going to select tier zero and go for the hub upgrade one. Um, the whole process here is we need to go through these hub upgrades until we get to five um, and and through each of them you're going to get different uh, items different machines more inventory slots and stuff like this and then once we get this we'll be able to access these further techs up here so let's start with hub upgrade zero and we need 10 iron rods for this uh, what do we need for two we need 10 iron rods 50 copper cable and 10 plates Okay, so let's select this milestone. And then we have this up here, it says we need 10 rods. Okay, great, so it's waiting for resources. Let's go ahead and make 20 rods. And um, and we'll like skip a phase here. Well, there we go. Uh, let's make, I don't know how many we need, like, well, let's make like 30 plates. 
if we can. Wow. Okay, let's make the rest rods. I, we won't be able to skip because we need the copper. Uh, okay, so here we go. We have our rods. Can we right-click those in there? Nope. Right-clicking splits a stack. Um, I think shift-click, yes? Aha, shift-click works. Okay, upgrade hub. Let's do it. And as you upgrade the hub, you get more uh, structure to the structure. Um, we are given a personal storage box. You have unlocked hub feature biomass yes. generator. Hub feature Thank you. personal storage. Scanner feature copper. Good, good, good. Any equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench respectively. Okay, so we're going to put flower petals in here because we can't use Six them yet. Um, and then barrel nuts. Note, connect buildings to a generator for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Aha, yes. Advice. Automate the smelting process. <laughs> Advice. Portable miners for optimal results. Let's see if we can build some biomass or craft biomass. Doesn't look like we can. We need to. I think. I'm. I don't. Maybe that's in an assembler. Maybe we haven't gotten the recipe le yet. Let me just check, because that's something that's quite important, actually. Biomass. That's right. Okay. So we need to get this recipe in order to get the optimal or better fuel for ourselves. Um, so we're going to work toward this milestone here and we have these items that we need. Let's go ahead and put in the resources that we have uh, and then we'll just go for the next bit. We need 50 copper bits um, and then we need to build a copper um, Let's see, equipment workshop. That's 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 one thing I don't understand is the equipment workshop yet. I, I don't know why it's not incorporated into that crafting thing, but we're gonna build one and uh, and see how we like it. So we need to also scan for copper. Um, so with the equipment workshop, we can build portable miners. And I think that's what I wanna do uh, first. So let's go ahead and say Q uh, equipment workshop and we'll build this thing which is similarly huge. Um, well, not as huge, but it is big. I think, oh man, I forgot about this. I think we'll put it over here to put it like here and we'll just turn it this way so that we can <clears throat> get parts from our current base and then kind of go in here and actually we might put it um, here. We'll put it here. That's That would be kind of like nestled in and we've destroyed that healing plant but it's okay it's fine okay so here can i select those leaves yeah i can maybe good leaves are always good to get okay so we want to get a portable miner we already have our xeno zapper we need eight copper cable we need four cable so actually this is wire and this is cable okay but i i think of it as copper cable because it's around a spool and it makes it easier to remember <laughs> anyway so okay let's get a portable miner so we need the copper right now um so i want to make let's go and hold c and we can choose copper ore oops okay so now we're scanning Jeez, 144 meters this way wow this is lucky. Good start. Oh, there it is, right on the hill there. Woohoo! This is a good spot. This is a really good spot. Can go up the hill here. Oops. Did I hear anything? Did I hear animals? I don't know. Okay, so here's our copper. We're just gonna E at this for a while. Oh, geez. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, oh boy. Where is it? Got it once. But you have to hit it more than once, that's for sure. Oh my god. Ugh. Alright, let's see. Get it to charge at us, maybe. There we go. We got the carapace. I think that means it's dead. Anyway, let's go back to our copper. Though it seems like when I was doing my test game, it was um, it was pretty easy to um, like once you cleared an area, I didn't see the animals, the aggressive ones coming back. So that was a good thing. 
So I want to keep on getting some more of this copper ore since we only have one of the um, one patch. But I want to have enough to make um, several of those miners. There we go. And we also need to build a smelter as well. So that's kind of important. Let's get like maybe 50 this copper ore. But I really like that we have resources in an area where we can also see the base and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, wait, we have 81. Oh dear. Okay. I've miscalculated. I got confused, but it's fine. Okay. I'm going to run back. Yay. I'm going to try not to build over our healing plants because that seems a little bit counterproductive. Okay. So uh, that's hub upgrade two. I want to look at... How much this costs? So portable miner, can I put this on my little list of uh, stuff? No, I can't. I, there's a there's a way to put things like from this crafting menu, you press the plus button and it tells you how much stuff you need for each thing like this to do list. You get you need that much stuff. So um, but this thing we'll just have to remember because I don't see one of those like little plus icons here. So we need eight cable, eight spools and four cable. So we'll try to remember that. And, um, okay. We need our copper ingots though first. Let's go ahead and make these happen. And then we're going to get our smelter set up. Now cable is like the secondary product. You need wire and then cables made from wire. So we can, we don't even have to do all this. We can just let the smelter do that in a second. Let's make all the cable we can and then or all the wire and then quite a lot of cable let's make like uh 16 sure sounds good to me go back here and make our miners portable miners let's make three of them that's exactly how many i wanted one two and three okay now the magic of these miners is that you don't actually need to um uh, power them. So we're going to just press tab. We're going to change. Now, this is the weird thing. I wish this stuff would go on a hot bar, a hot bar somewhere, um, because you have to switch out your Xeno zapper, your thing that you could kill stuff with and you oh, no, let's just place it down and it starts to go. It just, uh, sets itself up. There it goes. Watch the animation. Hello. And then we drill. Yay. So this thing, what, what happens is you press E and then it has, aha, we've produced five already. And the animation itself is just, uh, just for decoration really, because it starts, um, it starts drilling as soon as you place it. So let's go ahead and press Q, uh, not Q tab again. Not, not that either. Excuse me. <laughs> do what I tell you thing <laughs> or not do what I tell you, do what I want you to do and not. So if you press E, you see it's already producing. And even despite the animation not following. So I want to set all these up first. Let's go to copper. Can we jump up this? Yeah, no, no. Yes, hello. There we go. Copper's over there. It's getting a bit dark. Apologies for the darkness, but we don't have too much choice in this. I'm going to pick up all the flowers as we go. Uh, I miss those trees, but it's okay. Okay, so here we have our stuff and we will get our oops tab instead there we go okay place this down all right so that's going to generate copper ore I, I actually do want to go and pick up some of the iron ore so we get that smelted uh get that done first in fact so we'll go down here we can see our little guy is burning there so 17 not too bad you can also put multiple miners per patch, but I don't know if we'll actually need to do that. We want to kind of race our way to get to the um, automatic mining, which is in the next hub upgrade or next two hub upgrades. Um, okay, so we need smelters next. Let's re-equip our weapon, kind of necessary. Um, okay, and we have the smelter. We need five iron rods and um, we have all the wire. Do we have all the wire? No, we don't have all the... Wait, we have 28 wire, right? And this needs four? It needs eight. Okay, we just need iron rods. All right, great. Uh, so let's make some iron ingots. Remember, we made all the ones we could last time, and it was just not enough. So 
here we go with this and then we can make our iron rods i want to make two smelters one for copper and one for iron we could make more than that but we have we have limitations of other kinds that we haven't even talked about okay so let's make at least 10 iron rods maybe 20. okay there we go um actually we could probably oh we can't do this yet we'll get there though we'll get there okay so i think what i want to do is have the smelters up here facing that direction because there's more building space that away so this is kind of how i want to do things so let's put them here ish um let's press q select the smelter and then uh, rotate it you see the outgoing and incoming arrows that's kind of important uh, really important so we'll just um, hopefully not eat that plant but we'll see how close to the edge are we we're okay with that let's go there and then we'll build a second one right here we'll leave a little bit of space it's quite difficult to actually see the orientation of these things whether they're parallel or not but i'm leaving room in between for power poles because that's something that we will deal with soonish there we go there's the other smelter great so now i can open this and say iron ingots and then just take all this iron and it's going to make stuff for us so let me go down here grab more iron it'd be nice if there was like a quick collect i don't know about that if there is there might be um okay grab this um and then go back up to our smelter which is this one which it's not going to do anything because i forgot to add power aha <laughs> We need, we need stuff okay and that is actually what two is down there um it is the power line so at the moment i believe we cannot make power poles um which is an inconvenience so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to actually get some more copper real quick and smelt that so that we can make the uh where, where did our copper go it's over here okay great um yeah we're gonna smelt that up and um yeah stuff there we go so we can make more of the uh those uh wires and stuff okay here we go it is dark for a very long time apologies if this is really dark on youtube um but hopefully it's going to be okay um now then i really would like to get to the next hub thing use biomass burner for power and supply yes we'll get there in a second um let's make the copper ingots and we need the wire remember we needed 50 wire to upgrade the uh the base which is up in the upper right hub upgrade two let's get this done and then we can make lots of wire good good i can also put some of that stuff in our uh inventory box which will be nice all right so if we look at here there we go upgrade the hub and we'll see what items we get we might get the power poles i'm hoping so what did we get here we did get power poles great and we got biomass so we can convert the items to biomass aha stone yes good stuff and the next hub upgrade conveyor belts yay use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results note Constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Okay, so for power poles, we need um, some of this stuff, which is the concrete. Uh, so we need to find some limestone. Power lines are needing cables. So I really want to get the poles. So let's go and look up some of those. Look up the, um, the limestone and stuff. All right, let's put some of this stuff in our inventory here. We don't actually need a bunch of stuff here uh copper ore um you know what i want to do i want to craft handcraft some biomass from leaves let's just do this this will free some inventory space for us and this is what a fuel that we're going to use for a while so it's okay to have a bunch of it and that way we'll remove this from our inventory yay um we'll put the excess in here 
Uh, and then we'll have extra fuel. Yay. It pays to collect leaves. Yay. Okay, so here we open. This is the generator. And you can see it has the power beacon thingy on the left. And it's not functioning. That's why it's red. So we're going to go ahead and put in the biomass in here. And it's going to do stuff. So you can turn it on and off with this switch here. You can turn it into standby mode. But we're going to keep it on. But it has no connection. So it's not going to produce any power because it, it seems to run... Um, only when it is supplying electricity, which is a great thing. So let's go ahead and scan for um, limestone. Okay. In fact, oh my gosh, it's right over there. Holy fuzzy cats. I want to build, you know what I want to build is two more of the um, the thingy-majingies. Yes, those things. Uh, they're called uh, portable miners. Yes. We need, okay, so we have, we need four more cables and a uh, total of eight iron plates. Four cables, eight iron plates. Let's see if we can do that. Um, okay, we got to make more wires. Okay. So we want to have eight cables or more. Actually, we want to have like a few. And then iron plates, let's just make a few of those. Good. Very nice. So I want to make two miners, portable miners. One and two. Good. And we're going to go for the limestone. We're going to scan again because I've completely forgotten where the items are. 129 meters. Okay, there's one 306 that way. Let's go for the 120 and see where it is exactly. If it's down a steep cliff, <laughs> like it looks like it might be, yeah, that's not ideal. But later we are going to get... Oh boy, hello. Right. Oh, there's something dangerous down there as well. Um, the, the primary concern that I have is can we get back up easily? That's that's what I'm kind of interested in. Um, there's that uh, critter down there. I don't know where it went. It's around, though. I think we can get down okay. Oh, there it is. Hello. Zap, zap, zap. Come on. Zap it. Kill it. Okay, there we go. I hate that. I don't I don't really like killing animals, but it's part of the game. So we'll just suffer onward. Okay, so here's our limestone place. And what I'm going to do is immediately put down the portable miners, which is tab. Um... I find this kind of an odd system, the whole, like, um, some things are in your inventory and some things you construct in place. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, and I get confused between the two menus there, as you can see. Um, but it should be okay. Let's go ahead and mine some a little bit while we're waiting. We just need a few for power poles at the moment. We're gonna we're gonna need quite a bit later. As you can see, we need ten um, concrete for the hub upgrade three up in the upper right hand corner. And to make those reinforced plates, which is uh, the furthest to the right icon, um, you need two of those, and those require I believe they require concrete as well. So let's go ahead and open this thing. We got fourteen here, and the reason I'm getting two miners on the limestone is just so that we can come less often to pick them up. Like we don't have to um, just pick up one thing at a time. We can get two, so it, it's more efficient for trips. We need to figure out how to get back up. Maybe, hello. Aha, ha, sneaky. Okay, and then there's our home. You can see also there's a home icon that shows you on the map where home is back is. is um, so that's nice. You can also make uh, different things like beacons. Uh, that will, or you can mark the spot where stuff is. So that's quite nice too. All right, let's pick up the iron ore down here while we're there. Yay. I should have just put them both on one patch. It's quite silly that I did it this way, but it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, now then we have power poles. Now, power poles can be constructed in a couple of different ways. You can use the Q menu and select them. Or you can use the... Oh, there's a constructor. Nice. Okay. Or you can use number one on the bottom, as you can see there. We do need the concrete. So let's go ahead and make some of that uh, real quick. And I have not found any other use for limestone. So I'm just going to go ahead and make all the concrete we can. It costs three 
limestone to make one concrete. So we have only 13 right now. This is not a lot. So you can see why I put several of those other things down there. Now I'm going to use, put a power pole right here between the two smelters. And you see now why I left a little bit of a gap between them so that we could actually put the power pole. Um, number two is power lines. So we're going to select this thing. First of all, we're going to connect it to the power machine, the whatever it's called, generator. Um, now these power poles, and this is slightly maddening later on, they can only have four connections. You see one of four already used. So that means with incoming and outgoing power, you can only connect two machines. And that's slightly annoying, uh, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, and then machines, you can only connect one thing to each of them. You can see, does it show? No. You can't, oh, it says you can't connect more lines to this connection. So, all right, so we're going to use up these two things, these two connections. Oopsies. Hello. Yes, there. Good. So this one is already at three of four. Uh, and then that power pull is done. So anyway, it should be fine. Um, this one we were going to decide to do copper with. So let's dump all of our copper ore in this little uh, machine. Do we have more? Is that it? Oh, here's more. Okay, great. Uh, and then this guy needs iron. So we'll just shove that in here. Good, good. And then dump off some of the items into the personal chest. Uh, and maybe fix ourselves a little bit. Pale berries would be good. Let's see, we don't need this. What is this again? That's wood. Okay, great. Wood is necessary for making biomass later. Limestone. Oh, what am I looking for? Petals. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and heal ourselves. We're down three health things. So um, let's see. Is it it's tab? Okay. So I put the berries in my hand and then eat them. One, two, and three. And that gets me to full health. They re restore one health bar per each one. Oh, we can just sort this. That's a nice feature there. Okay. So now we're getting stuff made automatically. This is great. So um we can just kind of, we don't have to go all the time. Ah, oh yes. And here is a room being built. Yay. This is going to be our research room very shortly. So let's focus on what we need for the hub upgrade three. We need 75 plates, 10 cable, 10 um, concrete, and two reinforced plates. Now that's a lot of material to make by hand. So the game encourages us to go ahead and make things called uh, constructors, I think they're called. Let's see, Q, there we go, production. We can make constructors, crafts one part into another part. So um, can be automated by feeding parts in with a conveyor belt connected to the input. The produced parts can be automatically extracted by connecting a conveyor belt to the output. Now we don't have conveyor belts just yet. Uh, so we're gonna have to make these things. Um, ah, oh, this is nice. Okay, so you can do, we wanna make two construct, actually we're gonna make four of them. So we need this amount of stuff to make four. Wow, reinforced iron plates. Oh, uh, let's just make two for now. Reinforced iron plates are very expensive to make. Uh, let's go ahead and make the stuff that we can. Let's make one of those. Reinforced plates. We can see we need four iron plates and 24 screws. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a bunch of screws. Um, and then we're done with that. We need more iron ingots into iron plates. Go and pick up stuff from our smelter because we don't. I don't want to replicate work that this machine should be doing instead. Just pick up the ingots, drop off the ores. It's nice that they each hold like a full stack of stuff, so you can just like pick up a full stack from the miners and then drop it in the thing, uh, and life is is okay. Okay, so. What else do we need? We need the reinforced iron plates, which we can make two. So let's just make those two for now. But yeah, 24 screws is a lot of screws. Oh my God. So screws are made with iron rods. So let's make some of those. We'll make a bunch of screws here. Let's see. It's a whole bunch of, we can make one. We need more iron plates. I'm just going not very, uh, <laughs> Not by the numbers. Oh, there was these weird numbers like 24 is a little bit like, okay, hold on. But the good thing is, is we almost always need other stuff like iron plates. You can use them in many different things. Let's make two of these. Okay. And then we have stuff. Great. So I'm going to place down the constructors 
And from previous experience, I know that you got to place them a little bit away because you need space for the, the conveyor belts to connect to stuff. So um, let's see how I can do this. This is just, this is really difficult to kind of uh, measure and figure. I'm looking at the bounding boxes on the bottom at the moment. Does that tell me that you can connect that? The green line? Maybe. I'm wondering if that green line says, aha, you can actually connect this. This might be far enough away. We're just going to try this. Hopefully it is. Probably is. If anything, we can always replace them. Um, and that's okay too. And I'm going to put this one a little bit. Do we have the connections? No, it doesn't show us. want to leave space for a power pole as always, because we're going to need another power pole because this one won't hold both of them. So let's see, can we build one or we're short? No, we're short on uh, one iron rod. Let's go ahead and make one of those. Okay. Oh, wow. One exactly. Um, and I'll go ahead and get some more. I need more ingots. Let's see. Aha, there we go. Nice. That's great. Just place things as we can. Um, got these. Let's go ahead and get our... Do we have any copper bits? No. All right, we got to go and get some more copper ore. Can we build another power pole, though? Let's try one. There we go. Okay, these are a little bit misaligned, but it's fine. It should be fine. We're missing cable. We don't have any cable. Let's go and grab some. Or make some, I should say. Um... Let's see. Can we make cable? Ah, yes, we can. Good, good, good. Let's make all we can of this and some wire. Okay, great. So what I want to do is... Okay, we can connect these guys. So I'm going to connect this one, this power pole, to this guy. And connect it to this one. So those are connected. And then connect it to this one. Yay. Now, I think that is going to be our maximum of stuff that we can connect to this um, this machine. So that's going to be a good thing. Now, keep in mind that you can put leaves in here if you don't do the biomass initially. But it's I'm, we're told by the game that it's less efficient to do that. So this thing, I think I want to have it making iron plates because we need a ton of those. So let's go ahead and shove in a bunch of these iron ingots and it's going to make stuff for us. Now with this one, I think we're going to make probably wire, maybe, out of copper ingots, because why not? Sounds okay to me. So let's just have it make wire, and um, it makes 45 per minute, so it's not a lot. But right now, we, we definitely need to go and get some ore, because right now we're being efficient because we're not crafting anything. So let's go and get some stuff, grab leaves along the way. And go ahead and grab stuff. Yay! More ore. Ray. We'll go down this way to get the... Um, I'm sure we'll get a little root here shortly that we like. There's the leaves. There is our iron. Though we could probably get the iron afterward and go and get the... Whatchamacallit stuff. The... Um, the limestone first but we could also put this in the smelter right now so that might be better so there's our copper and then here we can do the iron ore shove it in we have plenty of iron ore at the moment so let's go down and get the um the limestone from the other mine just like furiously tapping at the keys to grab the leaves and stuff okay here we are so let's grab this. Limestone. Yay. Good. Okay, and how to get back up? <laughs> the good thing is that the jumping is fairly floaty in this game, so it makes it a little bit easier to get up. Maybe. Hopefully. There we are. Good, good, good. Alright. Good, good, good. So now we can make the limestone and let's see if we can make enough stuff to get to hub level three. Okay, how are we doing over here? We've got 31 plates. Can we make some more? 
Probably. Ah, now this is yeah, output filled up. It's going to be really great once we can actually um, start to um, get things, storage containers and conveyor belts where we can get all of these things linked nicely together. Okay, there's this stuff. We need, we have this, thank you. And copper cable, great. And maybe we can start getting some of those other things done. So let's go ahead and we need to make the concrete. So let's just do that ourselves. We could build another constructor, but the problem is, is you, you can't have more machines. I think, let's just check this real quick. I think I had four, and this was from previous gameplay experience. It's like, no, no, could not supply, <laughs> you know, production, consumption. Okay, looks great. So, oh, maybe we could link one more machine. Okay, let's see if we can build another, um, another constructor. We need three, we need two more reinforced concrete. So let's go ahead and get that made. Or reinforced iron plate, I should say. Um, we need some screws, which need iron rods. Craft, craft, craft. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's get this made. We'll put it right to the right here, I think. Put this constructor right out here. Oopsies. Oh, it is, does go this way. Okay. There's just, they are very big. <laughs> they are very, very big. We'll put this right here. And then I think I want to, we need another power pole. Um, yeah, we need another power pole. There we go. Put the next one up here, maybe. And connect this this way. It does pay well to be very organized about your power things. Uh, and you could you can also deconstruct. Now this is something quite important that you might um, look at. So on the shortcuts on the right, you can see we have a building tool, the deconstruction. V is a flashlight, which I completely forgot about. Sorry about that. C is your resource finder. X is something. Ah, look at this. Codex tutorials. I admit I've never seen this before. This is cool. Uh, and then tab, of course, is your inventory uh, thingy. So let's go with F. And what you need to do, if you want to deconstruct a power line, you point at the power line. At first I was confused, but it highlights whatever you want to deconstruct. You just press um, left mouse button and it goes and you get the materials back, which is very nice. Okay, so this thing is going. Let's E configure this to make, what are we making again? I completely forgot. Concrete? Ah, yeah, let's make uh, concrete. Um, this stuff, yes, go, go, go. Ah, perfect. Great. Okay, so that's going to make that for us and we don't have to do it ourselves. Uh, we need more iron ingots. So let's go. I'm looking for 75 plates, which we are not getting at the moment. Let's go ahead and shove some more iron ore in here. So that keeps producing. Uh, okay, we have copper. We need more copper ore which I've been very naughty about doing. I might go and get another miner on the copper for example, um, okay, let's put these guys in there. Good, good. Um, let's find out again what we need to make another miner. So I hadn't really thought about that. I though I don't know if we should. Uh, it's okay. We'll make another miner, or we'll just run over there twice. We'll just run over there twice because we don't need like mountains of miners, and I feel like it's almost a waste to have too many because they do recycle into miners, but you can only put one automated miner on each patch. Oh dear. Hello. Now the thing about this is, it's like, it doesn't like jolt it. You would think that the animal would stop and when under an electric jolt, but it doesn't. There we go. All right, that's how you do that, fun. Let's grab this stuff um, and then go back down. And grab the flower petals, snatch, snatch, snatch. Good, good. Okay, copper. Where did it go? And we definitely need to go and get some... Oh, I forgot to take the uh, produce out of there. That's not good. Sort. Did I take it out of here? Of course not. Oh no, I did. 
Okay, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. And these are misaligned. I'm looking at it's like, oh no. But it's fine. It'll be it'll get there. It'll get there. Okay, so here we have this stuff. It is coming along. We have 69 iron plates. This is good. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, is this one done yet? We have some limestone left, a little bit. We are getting more concrete. This is excellent. Um, yeah, we have leaves. I'm, that's the next thing I want to do with this. As soon as this is done, uh, I definitely want to get the leaves made into biomass because I don't want to do that all myself. There's no need for all that kind of clicking. It's like, no, 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 this is not happening. While we're waiting for that. Oh, there's that animal over there again. Looks like a really cool landscape, I have to say. Really cool. Kind of makes you wonder, like, can you get up to those areas? Are they all connected? Or do you need, like, the jump boosters, which are which are in the game? Um, I find them a little bit strange, but hopefully we can figure those out later. Okay, so let's get this done. Put the leaves in there. Have that get produced. Okay, so what are we doing with this? Okay, so we are at the limit here of five machines for the... Um, this, the power generation there. Okay, what else do we need? We need stuff. Okay, we need 70. Let's, okay, first of all, box. Got to keep ourselves um, aligned brain wise here. It would be helpful. What is this? Wood? Uh, I guess we don't need the wood yet. We will later. We can sort this. Great. And that is, okay, let's go ahead and focus on getting these other items. The, um, cables let's make the cables let's make 10 cables at least there we go and we need those reinforced iron plates that's going to be the biggie here so let's see if we can make some of those real quick okay we don't have enough let's go ahead and put in what we have though so let's put in these let's put in the plates that we have uh the concrete uh, and we're almost we have we only one plate and just a few more or reinforced plate and then the regular iron plates as well. Okay, we have no more of this, which we probably need to go get some. Let's go get some more iron ore quickly. Boom. Yeah, I should have put both of these on the same patch. I don't know what I was thinking. It was like, nope, one per each. <laughs> no, 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 not necessary. It's just faster to go and grab it from one location and that's it. Okay, go ahead and get see how this is going along aha it's still got materials this is great good good and then you need copper ore you're almost done so, oops nope give it back thank you um okay and let's go and get some more copper over here and soon we'll be able to have conveyor belts um and automatic binding for this area let's go and grab this real quick i really want to finish hub upgrade three before i have to end the episode because it's going to be a nice little kind of uh yeah thing that we can do go grab stuff go 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 all right and fill the smelter yeah this is horribly misaligned from that one that's not good no Maybe, maybe they're wider. Maybe the constructors are wider. I'm thinking that might be the case. Uh, anyway. I'm going to also drop off the leaves in this one. Because I'm sure it's doing stuff. 16 leaves. There we go. We're getting some biomass from that. And okay. Let's see if we can... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot to... the, the plates. How silly of me. Oh, leaves. Hi. Leaves go in here. There you go. I'm going to grab this because it might not be producing because of that. Okay, here we go. We have 19 more plates. Is that enough? We pre yeah, it is. It, we only needed 10. Um, okay, let's go. Of course, it's probably faster to produce the plates in this thing and just, you know, do the whole click thing because this thing only produces 15 per minute and this is quite a lot faster handcrafting this stuff. So it might be worth it to do, I don't know, something else in there perhaps instead. All right, we need some screws. Okay, one more iron plate. Good. Here we go. All right, shift click, shift click, upgrade hub. Oh, yes. Woohoo! All right, and we got stuff. What did we get? Let's find out what we got. 
We got conveyor poles, conveyor belts, foundations. Yes. Thank you very much. We can also make biomass from wood. I think that's the recipe for that. Uh huh. Ramps. Vehicles. Yes. Nice. <laughs> In indeed, overloading. So now we have gotten a second power thingy. I think. No. Where? Do we have to build it? I forgot if it just appears or we have to build it. Let's see. Power, logistics. Let's see, we have all the new stuff. Yay! And walls too. Uh, so far I haven't seen a need for walls uh, other than to make stuff pretty, but I don't know if like later animals come later or not. Um, I thought we were supposed to get a second power generator. Didn't she just say that? I don't know. Let's see. Or is that in the next upgrade? It might be the next one. Miner? No. Hello. Or is it hub upgrade five? No. I'm not sure. In any case, we'll figure it out. Um, but now I need to end the episode because it's gotten really long. But fear not, I shall have more of this game because I'm really enjoying it. We're going to see how far we can get in this um, pre-alpha weekend. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.